all right guys hello and welcome back to the legend of heroes trails of cold steel um it's a new day as i'm recording this it is december 24th so christmas eve i think this video will get up on the day after christmas though on the 26th so i hope you guys have a have had a wonderful christmas and just good holiday season um i have since then messed with some um settings and i think the playback should be a little bit better i kind of ran around a little bit didn't really do anything worth um you know recording it just to make sure that the playback was better than the last one because it was so delayed and just pausing a lot but this seems a little bit better but i'll see if i can fix it more just when i have to look back on this but anyway just excuse that well she's passionate to say the least joining the sports team does seem like it'd be interesting though elisa and i are taking a look at all the clubs here would you care to join us we uh, emma what are you saying all uh, right i'm sorry reen it's fine don't worry about it oh are you here to join the lacrosse club I'm sorry to tell you this, but this club is for girls only. When you think of traditional Erebonian, Erebonian sports, the word lacrosse should come screaming into your mind. The three key pillars of this sport are the three key pillars of youth itself, friendship, hard work, and success. So who's ready to make the most of their youth with us? Do try to control yourself, Emily. You'll scare them all off at this rate. So, that's the Elisa girl I've heard so much about. She has a different air about her than the other first years. She's awfully cocky for a commoner. She probably isn't one. Welcome to the riding club. I'm the current captain, Lambert Mock, and this is my trusty steed, Wickham. Are you in your recruit by any chance? If you have the slightest interest in joining, by all means, please do. I wanted to look at the horses, but alright. Whoa there, those ladies in their lacrosse get-ups are looking mighty fine. It'd be a crime against photography if I didn't snap some pics. You can die. See, so yeah, I guess I'm pretty much just running around and just kind of looking through stuff. Oh, that's the way out, which it won't let me do. I tried. Though, I did walk over here before and something weird happened, but since I wasn't recording, I'm gonna come back here because it's just weird and I didn't like it. The front doors are locked. This old building's closed up right now. Probably for the best, considering all the monsters roam around inside. Orienteering or no, I can't believe we were thrown in the... I, I can't believe we were thrown in with them right after our entrance ceremony. So welcome. I have no real reason to be here right now anyway. So I should start heading to the student council route. What was that? Was that just my mind playing tricks on me? He reminds me of a cloud. No, no. There's something off about this place. It's definitely not just my imagination. All the more reason to keep my distance for the moment. I need to go to the student council room anyway. Alright, let's avoid the evil building. Something's gonna happen probably. We're gonna end up back there, I'm assuming. 
Okay, I think I've pretty much done everything that I could. I mean, besides just talking to people, but that's just like random. Like it's not, I try going in there, it's locked. So I'm just gonna go into the student council building. Cause I never went in here, so I can talk to more people in here at least. On the first floor of the student unit building, you'll find both the cafeteria and the campus store. As you might expect, the cafeteria sells a number of different kinds of food. Meanwhile, the store sells combat equipment like weapons and recovery items. This makes it the best place to stock up on supplies or buy new equipment on campus. Can I buy a new sword? Oh my god. There seem to be a lot of promising newcomers amongst the first years. Ha, huh, it should be interesting to watch them all develop. I'm pretty curious about that class 7 too. It's like they have a whole different curriculum than we did. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I figured this academy would have some tough classes given how famous it is, but man, I still underestimated them. It's only April, so they haven't gotten too bad yet, but I think we're in for a tough two years. Man, I always feel hungry after class. Munch. Why don't you go get something? The food's the food here is pretty good. I mean, do I want to buy anything though? Hey there, have you come for something to eat? There are three things to know about our cafeteria's food. It's cheap, delicious, and served quickly. And we're proud of it. So if there's anything you want to order, you just let me know. How much money do I have? Okay, so Mira is... The money, I guess, that I have. Her store is 1500 which was 1000 I mean... Sure. Okay, I need to go upstairs. Oh, okay, well, the union thing is supposed to be on the second floor. That's, it won't let me, okay, chess club. Another day, another beat down by the nobles. I thought for sure that I would be able to win today too. Is this club ever going to break its losing streak? Okay, no one else is in here. Fishing club. Gone fishing. Fair enough. That one doesn't have a sign. Photography. No one's in here. Probably that one weird kid. Okay, student council. There's definitely still someone inside. I can sense it. I hope I'm not interrupting. Hello? Please come in. It's open. I recognize that voice. Pardon the interruption. Oh, you're that girl. <laughs> that girl that I don't know. <laughs> Instructor Sarah sent you, right? Yes. So, you're a member of the student council then? I wonder if she got moved up a few years. She looks even younger than Fee. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, 
I'm sorry, I was just wondering, um, are you a second year student? <laughs> I am, but there's no need for formalities with me. There's no junior or senior in my book. Tawa. Or Tawa. We'll see how she says it. Tawa. I'm the student council president. P president? Uh-huh. Does that surprise you? I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to interact with you and the other first years during your time here. So if there's anything you need help with, you just come and let me know, okay? I'll do everything in my power to make it better. Thank you. That's very kind. She's seriously the student council president? That's hard to believe. <clears throat> um, so, the reason I've come here is because you're holding on to something for class seven, right? Oh, of course. Here you go. Yours is the one on top. Let's see. Oh, our student notebooks. I completely forgot about these. I'm really sorry it's taken so long. Class 7's curriculum is pretty different from any of the other classes. And you're even using a different kind of battle ornament, so yours had to be compiled separately. Meaning these notebooks have information in them about... The Arcus, yes. All the student notebooks double as instruction manuals for their accompanying battle ornaments. And the other first years are all using the same type as last year, so we can just reuse last year's template. But the Arcus type you're using works quite differently, so we have to write a whole new set of directions from scratch. Okay, that makes sense. But wait, who's we? Pretty much just me. Instructor Sarah asked me to do it on her behalf. Which means it's my fault this has taken so long. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, no. If anything, it, it sounds like we owe you a huge debt of gratitude for putting so much time and effort into it. Is that really part of the student council's job, though? It seems more like something our instructor should be handling herself. Technically, you're right. But she's always so busy. And I help out the other instructors a lot, too. So I don't mind lending her a hand from time to time. Hmm. What a nice person. Maybe a little too nice for her own good. I doubt she ever gets a moment's rest around here. So, you just need me to give these to the other students in Class 7, right? Yes, please. I really appreciate what you've all agreed to do, too. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I heard all about it from Instructor Sarah. She said you've agreed to help out the student council with our work, right? It's such a nice gesture! You're really getting Class 7 off to a great start here at the Academy. Um, I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Didn't you tell her that you wanted to help ease our workload? Something about wanting to better yourselves? To prove you were worthy of being a part of this prestigious new class? She said you were all really eager to help out, so I should try to delegate some of my duties to you. Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hands. Why, indeed. I... I'm sorry. Did I misunderstand her or something? Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to start trying to force work onto you when you've only just enrolled. <sighs> There's no way I can turn her down. No, no. Instructor Sarah is absolutely right. Your plate is as full as I've seen, so if I can help you in any way, please let me. I thought there had been a terrible misunderstanding there for a moment. <laughs> but don't worry, I won't give you anything too difficult. It'll mostly just be fulfilling requests from people in the Academy and in Trista. Requests? Yep, sometimes people send in feedback and list things they'd like us to do for them. And we try to help out however we can. I'll pick some up for you to do by the end of the day and drop the list in your mailbox at your dorm tomorrow morning. Will that be okay with you? Sure thing. Thanks.
dusk already? <sighs> what a day. I can't believe she wound up treating me to dinner in the cafeteria. And she's still got more student council work to do yet. How is she so busy? Um, hello? This is Reen Schwarzer speaking. Good dog, my favorite little wunderkind. I hear you had a nice little dinner date with the student council president. Ooh la la. If this is how you treat your favorite little wunderkind, I dread to think how you treat people you don't like. Would you care to explain why you've been signing me up for things behind my back? I'll skip the details for now, but it's got something to do with the other part of your curriculum that I'll be announcing next week. I thought it'd be a good chance for one of you to do a little rehearsal before the main event. And since the student council truly is busy, I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone? A fine plan, if I do say so myself. I have a feeling half the reason they're as busy as they are is because of certain instructors. But all right, I'm happy to play along. Basically, you just want me to spend my free day tomorrow helping the student council, right? Oh, that's entirely up to you. If there's a club you're interested in joining, far be it from me to force you away from it. No, to be honest, I still haven't found one that really clicks with me, so that won't be a problem. There is one question I'd like to ask, though. Why me, exactly? <sighs> this seems like the kind of task typically entrusted to the class president or vice president. So, Emma, or Machias. And even if you were choosing based on social class, Eusus and Laura were both born into noble families. I wasn't. So what makes me so special, exactly? center of class seven. Pardon? I'm not saying you're its leader, of course. But in a class full of nobles, commoners, and exchange students, you in particular are special. Surely even you can see that, no? Well... That's why I decided to give you first dibs, so to speak. I wanted to get an idea of how things might go from here on out. There's never been a class like yours before, after all. So there you have it. The beans have been spilled all over the place. Ball's in your court now. Wait, what are you drinking? Beer, of course. It's the weekend and I'm stuck wasting away in my room, imbibing libations. Alas, all by my lonesome. If only I had a classy gentleman friend who'd go out drinking with me. But woe of woes, such a man is married to be found. Um, are you okay? Never better. But you, instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just gonna blow away with the next big gust that comes along. <laughs> and on that note, make sure you're back in the dorm by curfew and all transgressions will be forgiven. Toodles! If I don't plant myself somewhere, huh? She may have a few screws loose, but she's got a point. Maybe I should just try going with the flow and see what comes of it. Chapter 1. Unconventional Studies Afterwards, Reen returned straight to the dormitory, and after relaxing in his room for a while, he decided to walk around the dorms. You can now view the overall achievements and character tabs of your notebook. Both can be accessed by... 
All right, President Toa left me in charge of handing out everyone's notebooks. Tomorrow is our first free day, so I should get this done with tonight. You can explore Class Seven storms on the night before each free day. Be aware, however, that the story will progress should you return to Reen's room. Okay, so I'm in 201, so I just shouldn't go back here. I think this is yes, Elliot. Hey there, Reen. Something the matter? Toa gave me class 7 student notebooks to hand out earlier, so I'm just going around delivering those. Here's yours, Elliot. Oh, thanks. Anyway, were you playing the violin in here? Sorta. It's pretty late, so I wasn't really playing, per se. Just doing the fingering and motions. The wind orchestra isn't meeting tomorrow, so I thought I should get in some practice tonight instead. Wow, you're really into your music, huh? I can't imagine most people being that invested in their hobbies. Your room's chock full of musical stuff, too. Haha, <laughs> it's not that much, honestly. It'd be nice if the walls in these dorms were a bit more soundproof, though. Then I'd be able to play all night without bothering anyone. Spoken like a true music nerd. Can I look at his stuff? No. Whatever. Okay. Who is it? It's me, Reen. I've got something for you. I'll be right there. Sorry to make you go to all that trouble. Oh, don't worry about it. Were you in the middle of studying there? I'm sorry if I interrupted you. No need to be sorry for that. How did you know I was studying, though? You've got pencil marks all over the sides of your hands. Cough. <laughs> well then. You should make sure to do plenty of studying yourself. You don't want to find yourself falling behind. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Most of our classes seem like they'll be pretty hard, too. Agreed. But besides, it'll be a chance to show up those snobby upper-class students. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Yeah, good night. You have my thanks. Don't mention it. Mind if I ask what you are up to? I was simply reading. Oh, what kind of book? A biography I borrowed from the library. Why must I indulge your mundane little questions? Huh? While we may live in the same dorm, the two of us are perfect strangers. Your proximity to me does not give you license to intrude on my private life. You're right. I'm sorry about that. Humph. Pay it to no mind. Also, I suggest you be more mindful of when and to whom you volunteer your time. Otherwise, people will be more than happy to simply use you at every turn. He'll open up at some point. We'll get to know him better. He'll, he'll, he'll become soft. Was that meant to be a warning? He doesn't seem like an easy guy to make friends with, that's for sure. But maybe he's got a good heart. See... I know he does. He's just stubborn. All right, your door was just open. <laughs> Evening, Reen. What's up? Actually, I was just looking for you. I've got your student notebook here. Here you go. Oh, I was wondering when that'd come. Thanks. Sorry to make you go out of your way to deliver it. No worries. Your room's got a really distinctive feel to it, though. What's that hanging on the wall? That's a sort of ornament made in the Nord Highlands. I thought it'd be a nice way to bring the spirit of my homeland along with me. I see. It really does give the whole room an exotic feel. You've got your brushes out too, so I'm guessing you're going to spend tomorrow's painting. Yeah, I'm planning to head over to the art club. Feel free to come along if you feel like it. Haha, <laughs> will do. Alright, 
we've got our artist, we've got our music man, we've got our study guy, we've got our very reserved boy that we will get to know at some point. Okay, and that's my room, so I don't want to go there. Um, are the girls upstairs or downstairs? That is the question. Oh, okay. Good, I made a good guess. Yes, who is it? It's me, Reen. Do you have a moment? Ah, Reen. I'll be right there. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. Oh, on an unrelated note, how are you planning on spending the day tomorrow? I'm thinking I'll help out with the student council. How about you? I plan on looking at some more clubs. I haven't seen what the culture clubs have to offer yet, so I'll be visiting them tomorrow. Oh right, joining a club does sound like a good idea. <coughs> Let me know if any of them seem really good. Alright, I will. Also, I do hope you're able to make up with Elisa soon. Yeah, I'm going to try to talk to her again later. Good luck, but don't try to rush things either. I think Elisa still needs to sort out her feelings about everything. But don't worry, I'm sure it will all work out in the end. Thanks. Good night, Emma. Good night. Thank you for bringing my, me my notebook, too. Elise is a tsundere, and she's really annoying, and she's just a typical little shit who just, I hate her. This should be Laura's room. Hey, Laura, are you in there? Is that you, Reen? I'll be right there. Thank you for taking the time to deliver it to me. Don't worry about it. What were you doing anyway? You didn't hear me knocking and you, you're covered in sweat. I was just practicing with the wind sword. I must have been so focused on my practice that I didn't hear you knock at first. That's some concentration, all right. Maybe I should do some practicing when I get back to my room too. Haha, <laughs> you certainly don't want to neglect your training. I'd enjoy it if I had someone to duel with sometime too. Well then, good night. Good night. I forgot the map shows when people are in rooms and it shows that I guess that's a person that I haven't talked to yet in the little map. That's very helpful. I need to give Elisa her student notebook too. Right, here goes. Who is it? It's me, Reen. What do you want? What are you even thinking, coming to some innocent girl's room this late at night? Okay, good point. I wouldn't have under normal circumstances, but there's something I need to give you. Reen explained to that Toa asked him to hand out everyone's student notebooks. Oh. Now she feels like a jerk for acting like a dick. And she's still a jerk. Hurry up and hand it over. Okay, just hold on a second. It should be this one. Let's see, Elisa... Don't read that! Ah, she's a noble. She didn't want him to know her last name. I can't let my guard down around you for a second, can I? Sorry, I can't tell which notebook is which without looking inside. I really didn't mean any harm. Or so you say. Anyway, that's all you wanted, isn't it? Good night then. Dang. Guess I'll have to back off for tonight. But it seems that the R is just an initial. I didn't finish reading her full name before she snatched it out of my hands though. Is there a reason she's hiding it? She's high class. Okay, um... That's all the rooms up here, right? Yeah. So, um... I still need a fee. Maybe she's downstairs? Hmm... That's the exit. That's just Trista. Um, yo, where's V? 
You really can't beat an ice cold beer after work. No, wait, maybe you can, with two ice cold beers. <laughs> Have you been drinking all night? At least try not to fall asleep here, okay? I don't want you to catch a cold. Don't you worry your pretty little head about me. I'm indestructible, especially since I've got the day off tomorrow. You say that like it totally excuses your entire night of drinking. Well, anyway, you were nice enough to take on some work for the student council, so let's load off my shoulders. I'm looking forward to seeing how you perform tomorrow. Right. Wow, she went from plastered to bastard in the blink of an eye. Looks like there's a lot more to her than I thought. Okay, I need fee. I don't know where fee is. What, what is this? Nothing. Really, like, Fee is just not here. I mean, these are the guys, and the girls are upstairs. But... Can I knock on these doors? That's vacant. What about this one? Okay, that's her instructor. Did I do this one? Oh. <laughs> right in front of me! <laughs> Who's there? It's me, Reen. I've got something here for you. Coming. Cheers. <laughs> oh, were you asleep? I didn't mean to wake you up. It's fine. Ha, huh. I'm surprised you went to sleep this early, though. I mean, we just had dinner. I didn't have anything else to do. You done? Yeah, just wanted to give you a notebook. Right. She's a unique one, that girl. I wonder how she ended up a student here anyway. Fee and Yusus are very similar in the sense that they're very kept to themselves and don't really like to be with anyone else. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is my room. Okay, that's it. Should I call it a day? Coming, cho choosing the rest will cause the, data, will cause the date to change and the main story to advance. Yes. Okay, I delivered everyone's stuff. Dang, so we have school like Monday through Saturday. That sucks. This little town is so cute though, I just love it. Oh good, I get to go to the thing. Let's do this, because this is unread. I kind of dropped my student notebook and now I can't find it anywhere. Would anyone be willing to help me look? I'll be looking for it on the first floor of the student union building and I really appreciate it if someone lent me a hand. I will do that. Can I look at those later? Oh. George, I've just finished repairing a bunch of Orbital tech here at the engineering club but I need someone to deliver everything. Stop by the engineering building, left of the student union building, and I'll tell you more. Alright. Principal, I have reason to believe that strange phenomena has been occurring in the old schoolhouse of late. As such, I would like to request that one or more combat ready students look into this and report back to me. For more details, come see me in my office on the first floor of the main building. One from the principal, one from the engineering club, and oh hey, one from another first year. I certainly wasn't expecting a request from the principal as one of my very first assignments. I hope I don't screw it up. I'm curious about that one from the engineering club too. Sounds interesting. Well, I've got all day, so let's just dive in, I guess. Okay.
Okay, so I'm gonna do... What is this? On this free days, special events can be triggered with certain classmates and sub-characters. These are called bonding events. One point will be consumed each time you view an event, but your bond with that character will be strengthened. In the time of the day advances to evening, all daytime bonding events and quests will be no longer available. Okay. Oh! I can be friends with people. Okay. Well, okay, so I can view... Quests. How do I... Okay. Okay, good. So I can look at stuff if I forget. Let's save. Because it's been... A little bit has occurred. So where am I at right now? What building am I in? I think I'm in the student council building. Uh... Right? Mm, no, I'm not. <laughs> this is our rooms. Okay. Well, good. I can figure out what the heck our dorm building looks like because I have no idea how to find it. Okay, that's Trist. What's this room? Okay. So, I need to go to the student union building because I want to help the girl first. The weather is beautiful today. Right then, let's head out. At the center of Trista is a shopping district. You can purchase a variety of items in the stores there. Can I buy new clothes? Okay. Oh wow. So I can just <gasps> I could just go places. Oh wow, it's like teleporting. Okay, bend me. I need Well buy a new outfit pink high heels love it oh cuz like okay so it is like Final Fantasy where I can buy stuff to um, upgrade like defense and attack and stuff Okay. I have no money. <laughs> but alright guys, I guess I'm gonna stop this one here just because I have, uh, like I said, right now it's Christmas Eve. I have stuff that I have to do. Um, so, I hope that this playback is a little bit better. I have, I don't know, I'll apologize in advance if it's not okay. But I hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday season once again. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I love you. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.